Good afternoon, and welcome to Conversations about the Texas Bar. I have a proud disclaimer before we get started. My name is Iana Benjamin, and I'm a proud alum at Florida Coastal School of Law, class of 2013. Today I have as my guest, Professor Chris Roderer. Prior to joining Florida Coastal School of Law, Professor Roderer taught at the University of Witts in South Africa. He also taught at the University of Papua New Guinea and at the Anglo-American College in Prague. Professor Roderer was also a visiting professor at Seattle University and a Fulbright Fellow in South Africa. During law school, Professor Roderer was the legal theory editor on the New York University Review of Law and Social Change. Professor Roderer is the author of Constitutional Powers, Mastering Constitutional Law with Professor John Knickley, and numerous book chapters and articles. So Professor, let's dive right into the questions. The Texas Bar differs from the Florida Bar. Talk to us about the format of the Texas Bar and highlight the differences between the two. Okay, so the main difference between Texas and Florida is that Texas gives you an extra half day of questions. So day one is another, starts off as just a half day, so they kind of ease you into the bar, but it starts with a multi-state performance test and then a series of short answer questions over civil procedure and criminal procedure and evidence that are unique, um, somewhat unique to the way Texas um, covers those topics. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other difference is, of course, on one of the other two days, you're doing essay questions that are specific to your state. So the Florida questions are going to be specific to Florida. The Texas um, questions are specific to Texas. Now, some of them are questions and areas that cover uh, materials that you'll cover generally in law school. Right. But some of them are a little more specific, covering, for instance, oil and gas law from Texas, mm -hmm. consumer protection from Texas, and um, their community property regime is a little bit different because it's based in some ways on the civil code, um, as is a lot of the South, um, or at least the, those parts of the South that were part of the Louisiana Purchase and so on. Yeah. And, um, and so that also differs a bit from, from the way Florida tests. So in 2016, Fl Florida Coastal School of Law initiated a Texas bar prep course. Can you tell us more about that class specifically? how it's taught and how it's formatted? So the, the class itself tries to focus on those areas that are somewhat unique to Texas and those subject matters um, in, in testing styles that you would not necessarily get in your standard Florida class, let's say here at Florida Coastal. So we do focus partly on this multi-state performance test. Um, as some people say, they kind of give you the law for it so you don't have to study the legal rules leading up to it. But it is really crucial that you are comfortable with that style of testing because right. even though they give you the law, they give it to you in cases and in other primary sources. Mm -hmm. And you have to extract those law, the law, the rules, the principles, the standards out of those cases. They also give you facts, but they're in the form of memos, mm -hmm. often written to you from attorneys or other people. So you have to pull out the essential facts and then you have to perform like a lawyer and, wow. and write a memo of some sort um, that then, then is graded. So we focus a fair amount of time on that test taking skill. We also spend a fair amount of time on civil procedure, criminal procedure and evidence because that's tested in a unique way in Texas on that first day as well. Oh. And then after that we focus in on those subject areas that are pretty unique to Texas. So most states you don't take oil and gas law mm -hmm. Um, you wouldn't take that normally in a class in Florida. Their consumer protection law is unique to, to Texas. They have special consumer protection rules, and that's always tested on the Texas bar exam. And then we also focus in on the community property regime, which is different from the common law regime that you get in Florida. Oh, I see. You mentioned to me that you took the Texas bar. I did take the Texas bar. It's been some time ago. Um, so it, it has changed a bit since then. So the, the multi-state performance test is new to the, the bar now. Um, but I did take it. It was a good experience. It was the second bar exam I took. So I was in some ways lucky that I had another bar exam under my belt. So I had at least the confidence that I could pass a bar exam and I sure. knew how to study for it um, based on that other exam. Was the other and exam similar to the The other the exam format? was somewhat similar to Florida it was the Pennsylvania bar actually. Oh, okay. Um, but um, most of your study skills are the same. A lot of the bar exam and studying for the bar exam is something of an endurance test. Um, you have to be able to focus 
closely on materials that aren't necessarily the most exciting part of the law, but um, you need to be able to focus on and work hard um, and work consistently um, over that couple month period. And if you can do that, you can pass the bar. And what are a few things that you think every future uh, Texas bar taker should know? Well, when you're getting ready to take the bar, I mean, obviously you've learned a lot of law um, and there's a lot of law you learn sometimes for the first time when you're studying for that bar exam. Oftentimes it's, um, it's law that is a refresher, um, but it's not enough just to know the legal rules or the standards. Um, it's really important and crucial that you understand the way the test works, the format of the test, um, what's gonna happen on each day of the exam, and then within any given testing area that you understand that form of testing and are able to perform to it. So Texas tests in four different ways. They have short answer questions with that civil procedure, evidence and criminal procedure, which is largely about being able to say what the rule is and explain the rule for that particular area. Like I said, the multi-state performance test requires that you be able to extract rules and principles and standards extract facts and then be able to put them into a coherent legal argument like you would do for a partner in a law firm. Right. So that's a specific test taking skill. The, the multiple choice question part, which is the multi-state, which is 200 multiple choice questions, which are difficult questions, takes another set of skills. And, um, and so does the essay writing. Mm. So, you know, having a good sense of how those work and having really good strategies for how to approach each so that you're not going into the test trying to figure out how to answer questions, but you have a, a real planned out strategy, good time management, you understand the format of the exam. And then finally, I'd say it's really important to know the physical environment of the exam. Mm -hmm. Know what time of day it starts, be comfortable getting up at that time, know the place, know what you're supposed to bring, right? And just being you know, ready all the way around for the exam and then I think you have the confidence to pass it. That's fantastic. Thank you for your time, Professor Ritter.